Hi everyone, Muriel here. So I wanted to come and share with you a couple of Valentine tags that I created. Um, I am using a very old paper pad that I thought complemented the images that I am using. And the paper pad is the blush a uh, six by six designer pad from Lost and Found, and I can't begin to tell you how um, much I really love using this paper pad. It's from 2011, but I like the colors. It has the pink. Um, it has a subtle tone, almost a vintage style to it. So I combined it with some images from some cutouts from Graphic 45, Place and Time. Uh, the February sheet and a few images from K and Company. So let me show you uh, again. This is the paper pad that I'm using. I'm almost finished. I'm going to be taking this with me on my retreat at the end of the month. I really want to use it up. And the tags that I'm using are the Graphic 45 regular ivory tag album. They about about a four by five and a half inch size tag that's really sturdy. Of course, if you have a Cricut, you could always cut out your own tags. And um, I used a die. This is a um, stitched layered die, heart die. I don't have anything more to say about it. I don't know, uh, recall who gifted it to me or whether I bought it or what brand it is, but I did use it on these tags and the flowers were from I picked this up a couple of months ago this is a uh, Prima bag bitty bag number three floral arrangements and it had a slew I think it was about 92 uh, random color flowers in it really cute so I poured out all the ones that I thought I was going to use and um, I ordered this on peachycheap.com I kind of started getting that um, email back. I used to subscribe to them a long time ago and um, every now and again they have some cool stuff. So let me show you these tags. Um, again you can see the layering of the heart and there's another one underneath it but it's pretty tucked away. The image is from Graphic 45 of a um, young kid with a bow and arrow and angel wings and then there is a uh, border strip there that says kisses kisses. Okay, the flowers again um, are from these. This is a Michael's flower and these are cherry blossoms with some green leaves. And I'm using all Michael's embellishments. There is a um, heart with a crown and a arrow. Okay, and I just layered the paper over the tag. And if you are not sure how that's done, Arlene, my Butterfly Kisses 12 has a tutorial that shows you how to layer your paper over the tag. Um, I just have some twine here and this uh, wired edge ribbon that I found in my stash. It's brown and then the edge is a cool pink. So it kind of really goes with the tag. Uh, I left the back um, as is. This is where I will write my message. And then I have a really cool... Um, kiss a set of lip stamp that I'm going to plant right there on the back. Okay, so that was that one. And when I talk about my Michael's embellishments, I showed you guys a couple of months ago how I have just pulled them all out. And um, you may want to try gathering yours up because there's every kind of metal embellishment here. Leaves, there's birds, there's clocks, there's crowns, there's feathers, I mean it just goes on and on. Florida leaves, uh, bird and the bird cage, and of course keys, there's words. So I just vow that if I'm going to use any metal embellishment, it's going to come from here. So that's my first one. My second one, again, I'm using some of the paper from the pad. I use a different spell binder die here. It has some scallops on the edge, but then I did follow up with another heart um, stitched in the center. The image again is from the Graphic 45 and the flower and the leaves. And then down there is a little um, cutout that says sweetheart. And I have that bronze arrow there. Here I'm um, on a garment pin. I have the heart with the wings hanging 
and this is some more uh, ribbon that I found from my stash. Um, it's curled because um, I had it curled inside of one of my dress forms, so it's slowly but surely kind of trying to straighten itself out. Okay, and then again some twine. Okay, and the back again is um, straight. And then the third one here, I did something a little different. I only covered a middle section of the um, tag and then in the back I just used another piece of the paper to uh, layer over the seams. Okay, so I started out with a heart here and everything is on dimensions, dimensional uh, pop-ups so that uh, it will give it some uh, dimension to, to the tag. Um, I have a, another Graphic 45 tag here. This is a Kane Company uh, cutout. You probably rem remember seeing this. You probably have some in your stash. And then I have a metal key right here. A locket actually and a um, arrow at the bottom two of the graphic 45 stamps and then this flower was from the um, bag but it was white and I sprayed it with some Lindy stamp gang spray and I'll reach over here excuse me and grab this because I love this color it's the Rudolph nose red um, it's a uh, starburst spray. It's really shimmery. Hope you can see that. Very, very shimmery. So um, I was trying to bring out the uh, deep red that was in the um, stri border strip here and in this paper. And then I have a another heart with wings charm on a garment pin, some red twine. And then here I have some ribbon that I picked up uh, recently at Michael's. It's uh, wire ribbon. It's one eighth of an inch wire ribbon, and I just curled it with a uh, very small, like a um, orange stick. And I just thought it was something different. I had seen it over on uh, a web page of a designer, Karen, and um, very, very great idea. I love it. I like it because of her cone hat. It just looks like a party tag. So that is my. Um, three tags. They're all from the same paper pad. I do have a couple of more that I've created, but they're from a different tag. And because I'm going to be giving these out for Valentine's for uh, some of my subbies, I don't want to show all of them. So again, uh, if you have this pad, it's really a sweet um, vintage kind of uh, pad that can be used for Valentine's Day. It's not your uh, typical red, white, and hot pink. But I think these um, uh, really do resemble Valentine's. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And thanks again for watching. Bye now.